What's going on everybody? It is your boy Kudamijia and we are back with another Grand Cross video. So today at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, uh, maintenance happened for Global Grand Cross and it lasted for about 2 hours 30 minutes and it was basically the new final boss season for Merlin and they also dropped the bikini outfits and swimsuit outfits for all the characters so you know me I'm a big simp big ass simp got me Jericho's outfit and got me Gila's outfit straight off the back I needed them straight away I, I really needed them because I missed my chance of getting them on JP and once I got the 60 gems because you get 30 for purchasing both 2399 gives you the whole UR outfit 30 gems I went ahead, did a multi-summon, my first multi-summon, and I got the new red Escanor, there he is, got him right off the back, first summon. I went in blind, I saw that I had a tree branch, but I did see that it was also morning sky, so I I just skipped it, because I thought I was going to get shafted, pulled Escanor straight off the back, second summon, got shafted, whatever. I didn't really care for Escanor because I, I, he's just not a unit I really care about getting. I mean, I would love to get him because it's the collector in me to at least try to own all the cards in the game. But I, he wasn't really my main priority at the moment. So I'm going to set up the team of the Bikini Babes and we're going to head into some PvP. So this is the team I'm going to be heading into PvP with. We got Blue Gila. The SR version. Look at her and her nice swimsuit. Looking mighty good. Such a good unit too. We got Red Gother just so I could upgrade their cards whenever. We also got Baby Girl Jericho. Number one waifu of the whole Seven Deadly Sin series. And then we got Escanor on the bench in case it goes to hell. And let's head into our first PvP match of the Bikini Babes. Alright. First PvP match, I am now platinum ranked as you can see. This is no longer easy competition. I'm going to be going against tryhards and all of that nature. So we are going to make Jericho our primary target of this video because she's going to need a hard carry against these opponents. She's going to do the most damage because I made, I gave her like the best equips to do deal more damage. And also, I gave her the SSR, um, what is it, earrings and the belt of that critical one to give her more crit damage, I believe. Either crit damage or crit chance, I forgot. But she's going to be an absolute beast, I can guarantee that, only because she's Jericho. She just killed Meliodas within one turn because of her bleed, because she's a monster. Also, we got... Gila here basically for the heal and go there to level up all the cards but this is the bikini warriors team this is I mean I, I could have obviously gotten Merlin or Diane or Elizabeth but I mean to me the best girls of the whole series are Jericho Gila and Melascula those are my top three if you got a problem come fight me we could take it up on the street anytime you want but look at Jericho. I swear, on JP, I would always go against green, blue Jericho in that su that swimsuit outfit. And I would always be jealous because I really wanted the card. But I was just too late. To, I was too late already playing JP version. And when I first seen the card, I was like, what the hell? Like, wh where did this outfit come from? Why wasn't I alerted all that? And now that I noticed it was a summer update, and the summer update's now here for Global, I'm actually really happy. Because now it's just another outfit for Best Girl that I could keep in my inbox. Oh my god, holy, what the hell is going on? Oh, yo, I wasn't even paying attention. I was really off track. Yo, do I gotta cut this fight out? Yo, alright, that's my bad, that's my bad. I wasn't really fully focused into this. So I guess I'm going to go target Gother as best as I can. He's going to be the main problem. 
Yo, this is my first match on Platinum 2. Because I leveled up the Platinum. I did, of course, the two matches to get into Platinum to qualify. Lost that first one, but went against two bots and was able to win. So, yeah. This is actually pretty bad. <laughs> this is a bad attempt of me trying to... Mm, trying to show off the bikini babes. I mean, I guess it's the sem semi bikini babes because there's just two of the four. But you know, I digress. If you got a problem, just just hit the like button so I know you you had a problem with it. You know, don't hit the dislike. Nah, nah, nah. Hit the like. The like. Who do I go for in this situation? I think I just take out Gother. At least I could be type neutral with Jericho. Mm -mm -mm. I am probably going to release a showcase on Red Escanor. He is pretty good. Well, not just pretty good. He's a monster. Like, I'm not capping when I say that. He is actually a monster. He does good damage with his AoE attack. At level 2 of his AoE, it also gets rid of one of the gauge points on the enemies. But his super is the same animation all that. But, well, I'm going to assume I'm going against the bot because... The bot didn't super when it should have, unless it's waiting to just take me out right here. Oh, Eskinor pulls off. All right, so that was our first match with the bikini babes. Let's head into our second one. All right, second match of the bikini babes. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an online person, based on how long it took. All right, we are going against someone online, because that CC is so close. Oh, it's double. Blue green. So I'm going to try to take out King for sure. I feel like out of these three, King is the biggest problem. Obviously, Eskinor is there too. He's a big threat. But King and Lilia do have a heal card, healing card. So I want to take out the king as fast as I can. He's probably going to heal, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so he heals with Lilia. It would have been better to heal with king, so he could get rid of that debuff. But he didn't, so I guess that's a dub on my side. Hopefully it takes him out. Nah, nowhere near. I guess we'll head for Lilia now. We're just going to make Jericho the, the main primary target of this video. Because she is best girl. Look at that. Oh, ooh, look at her. Baby girl looking all fine and like a dime. Ooh, baby. Alright, so we do take out the king. Let's get it. I am hoping to... Is he going to have Merlin? Oh, he has Elizabeth. Which is actually a good thing. If we could take out at least Escanor. Yeah, if we could... No, if we could take out Lilia too... This could be a dub. Wait a minute. I'm no, I'm mistaken. Eh, I I for, I don't really care for Elizabeth units. So what's it called? Uh, I I forgot this was red. Red has the heal and the that little bar attack, huh? I don't know. I just forget things really easily. You know what? We're gonna do this. Oh, sorry. We're gonna hit Gother with his. Hit them all with that nice debuff, and hopefully Gila does some good damage to at least take out the Lilia. It's not possible. Jesus. Good damage. But I wonder... He's probably going to super Jericho and then take out the Gother, my Gother, with his Lilia. And he's probably going to heal as well. Yeah, because I know Jericho is his... is the big... Oh, he's going for Gila. Is that so? Gila's not even that bad. I mean, her super is AoE, but I would I would take out um, Jericho. Okay, so Gother does die, huh? Oh, he doesn't. Let's get it. So I'm going to go balls deep in taking out Eskinor. So I'm going to upgrade Jericho's cards right here and hit them both with her attack. 
I guess this is kind of like a Green Jericho Showcase global version. Because the first time I did a video on her, it was on JP. So I guess it could be both Bikini Babes plus Green Jericho Showcase. Since she's basically the main target of this video. Alright. So Gother's done for. I would say... I don't think Elizabeth's attack will do any decent damage, if I'm not mistaken. Her attack is probably just going to heal, I believe, heal. But I'm not too familiar. Oh, okay. Did he just forfeit? What the hell just happened? Did he just forfeit? Huh. It, it just happened so fast. I don't know if timer ran out or if he forfeited. Let's head into one more match, and then we'll end this Bikini Babes saga video. Alright, into our third and final PvP match of the video. We are going against Green, Diane, Escanor, and Lilia. Diane is going to be a big problem. Or she might, I don't, I don't really know. But all I'm going to say is, let's try to take out that Escanor. Because he'll be the big problem in the end. Oh, crap. So, I forgot. Diane does start with that shield that does taunting, which makes you target her by default. Which is, I, I completely forgot about her passive, which does that. So, he is going to be targeting Gila only because I'm pretty sure it's a blue unit. She doesn't really do a lot of damage, though, which I'm really surprised he'll go. He, he's going after her. But I guess it might be because she has that heal. But I am not too sure. Let's keep targeting Eskimor. Because <laughs> I want him gone ASAP. Come on, Jericho. Good damage. That 20k crit, I'll definitely take it. So we're probably going to lose Gila this turn. She just can't handle all this damage dealt to her by both two green units. Okay, she'll, she's still alive. Who's Diane going for? Okay, bye Gila. Thanks for your um, contributions to this team. Hopefully we could still pull it off without you. Alright, so... I'll hit them all with this, this, and... I don't know if this takes out Eskinor, so... I want to at least guarantee him being gone. Oh, okay. So who's Eskinor going to go after? Okay. Yep, let's start doing chip damage on Diane. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with her super. It might be AoE. Or it might be a single target. Is he going for Gother? Oh, he's going for Jericho. Or, yeah, he or she is going for Jericho. I don't think this takes out Jericho, though. Okay, good damage. Good damage. Alright, so I'm going to hit all of them with the AoE. She is taunting, which is good to know. It doesn't really affect me, though. I'm not scared. Come on, Gother, do good damage. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Look at the Bikini Warriors in action. Look at them babes. Let's go. Getting the super on Diane, taking her out. Now we obviously have the advantage. Two greens beats two blues. Especially with the red support. It's basically over. I don't think he could come back from this. Unless he's able to pull off some miracle with Meliodas. It could happen. Meliodas does do hella damage. But I just don't see it happening. Especially because Jericho is going to have this green card right now. Oh, so is Escanor actually. Yo, one shot Meliodas. You're not down. Yeah, you weren't down. One shot Lilia. You were down. 62k crit. It's over, buddy. It is over. You did fight. You did fight. Jesus. You did fought hard. I could. I respect you for fighting hard and not um, dipping. It does take heart to stay during an L, especially. I would know. I took a big fat L just the other day. So... Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like down below. Please do also consider subscribing to the channel. We are at 22 subs. 
which is really amazing. I didn't think I would make it this far and enjoy uploading videos like this, but it actually is really fun. But with that being said, like go on the videos too, likes. I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but oh well, it's already at the end. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all with another video soon. Peace out, everybody. Have a good and safe rest of your day or night, whatever time you're watching this.